Hey, what's up? My name is Jacob Davis with jakedavisdrums.com. On today's drum lesson, we're going to talk about bass drum exercises that will help you with control and stamina. So these 10 exercises are built for helping you with control and stamina. They aren't necessarily hard, but played at higher tempos over longer periods of time can propose some challenges. When you are working on these exercises, make sure that you are not feathering the bass drum. Make sure you are hitting hard like you mean it. I suggest starting with a slower tempo, whatever tempo works best for you, and play these exercises for about five minutes, and this will help build the control and the stamina that you are currently looking for. So with all this being said, let's get started. So with these exercises, you're gonna see some similarities, and you're always gonna see that the snare drum will be played on beat two and four, and the hi-hat is always gonna be played on the quarter note pulse of each measure. So one, two, three, four, snare drum will be on one, two, three, four. In exercise number one, the only thing that's happening with the bass drum are just straight eighth notes. So let's hear that. Exercise number two just has the bass drum going on E and A uh of each measure. So you have one E, A uh, two E, A uh, three E, A uh, four E, A. Uh. But now let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number three has the bass drum going one E and, E and, E and, one, E and, two, E and, three, E and, four, E and. Now let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number four is a little trickier. It's a little different. So the bass drum pattern is one and a two and a three and a four and a one like that. So now let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number five is one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, E and a. This one's a little trickier because it has so many more bass drum hits in it. I suggest playing this one at slower tempos if that's where you're at. Now, let's hear it with the drum set. Now, exercise number six. Exercise number six has only two sixteenth notes being played on one, two, three, and four. So it sounds like one E, two E, three E, four E. Now, let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number seven has a dotted quarter note. So that sounds like one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four, a. Uh. Now let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number eight, we're now transitioning from 16th notes or 8th notes into 8th note triplets, okay? This is going to sound like one and a two and a three and a four and a. Let's hear that with the drum set. Exercise number nine, we're still with the 8th note triplets. This time we're playing one and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Let's hear that with the drum set. Last but not least, exercise number 10. This one is just eighth note triplets the entire time. One and a, two and a, three and a, four and a. Let's hear that with the drums.
Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I truly hope you get something out of this video. Again, my name is Jacob Davis with jakedavisdrums.com. Thank you. I'll see you next time.